All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we got some breaking NFL news here. Just came out a couple minutes ago. Mike Evans is going back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Two-year contract worth $52 million, 35 guaranteed. One less option here for the New York Jets. Um, you know, obviously T. Higgins was tagged by the Bengals. It's looking like Michael Pittman will be back with the Colts, according to... Um, you know, general manager Chris Ballard. He said that I believe in the first day or on the first day of the NFL Combine in his press conference that <clears throat> the organization is going to find a way to bring him back at least for 2024. And now, of course, Mike Evans. But I got to be honest. Well, first off, you know, we all saw the report that came out like 24, 48 hours ago suggesting that Mike Evans wants to play with like an elite quarterback. He he wants to win a Super Bowl and, and all these different things. Um, but, you know, actually being like, so living in Tampa, the, everybody that I reached out to, every single person that I talked to thought he was going to be back with the Bucs. Nobody was worried about it. Nobody was actually thinking he was going to be playing for the Ravens, the Chiefs, the Jets, what have you. L again, literally every single person said he'll be back. And, uh, you know, some, some, uh, some people suggested that it was like a potential ploy, right? Uh, to get other teams bidding on him or to get that, you know, annual number higher because Evans at the end of the day wants to get paid like a top receiver because he is a top wide receiver. And, you know, objectively speaking, it's a great move for Tampa. Mike Evans is a uh, freaking franchise legend, uh, Mr. Thousand Yards, whatever you want to call him, size, red zone threat. His resume speaks for himself, uh, speaks for itself. He's dominant right he, he's absolutely fantastic and I would have loved you know to see him in the green and white but now we have to shift our attention elsewhere you know and what's absolutely nuts is despite three fantastic wide receivers being off the market we still have options we still have options like we, what how many other free agent classes can you say that about specific positions right like not many right the top three guys are off the market and you still have multiple avenues that you can travel down right uh calvin ridley i think is probably like the the one that people will you know link to the jets the most and rightfully so joe douglas has always kind of had like an affinity for uh for ridley uh dating back to when he was an atlanta falcon i mean you could go down the list like i think darnell mooney's an, an interesting underrated option you can talk about like the guys that are linked to Aaron Rodgers, like uh, Valdez Scantling, although I kind of view him as like a wide receiver four, in my opinion. Not definitely not the wide receiver two coming in to like, you know, take some of the pressure off of Garrett Wilson or take the pressure off of Garrett Wilson. Uh, there, there's options out there. I, I personally, I'm off the Odell Beckham, uh, you know, I, I guess I never really was on the Odell Beckham kind of. Uh, hype train, if you will, for the Jets. Uh, but it, it does look like, you know, I guess people are still talking about him potentially joining the green and white. Um, at the end of the day, though, I, I, I still believe that the, the offensive line is priority number one. Left tackle, left guard, right tackle. Right. If you want to bounce AVT out the tackle, fine. But now we need two yards. Now, the guard market is extremely deep, which is great. If they want to move Tittman over to guard, okay, now you need a guard and a center. So, However, the Jets want to work it. It is what it is. It, you know, it's up to them. But they still can't get around the fact that they need three starters and backups. And backups, right? Preferably, I would want one more guard. We have Wes uh, Schweitzer as a backup uh, depth option at guard right now. But we need, you know, who's going to be like the backup left tackle, the guaranteed backup left tackle, like somebody who. I, I'm not in a position where I'm just like rolling the dice with these backup options. Um, so again, for me, my sole focus right now is trying to, because we have so many needs here. If we had, if we only had one hole, one vacancy on the offensive line, okay, it's a different story. Maybe we can go out and target wide receiver early and fast, but because we have to delegate so much money here, because there's so it's a, so much of a weakness B. Uh, it improves the quarterback play, thus improving wide receiver play and also would improve uh, the running game. Like it's just such a, cha uh, a chain reaction type of unit. We have to invest the assets here, right? Douglas has ignored it for too long. Um, it, it has to get done. That, that's the that's the bottom line. Now, for me, I think my my plan, early plan right now, sign two I guess at this point, you got to sign three three offensive linemen, in my opinion, two starters, one backup option, and then I'm using spot number 10 to draft the other tackle, whether it be Fashanu, Fuaga, whether you want to trade back and target 
Jordan Morgan from Arizona, a guy who I really like, trade back really, you know, far into the first round, go get maybe like a Tyler Guyton, um, JC Latham, potentially an option. So the Jets have options here. Again, this is the silver lining with it all. It's not like there's one guy that we're shooting for and we got like five bidders. No, we can go in a bunch of different directions here. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Mike Evans now off the market. Who's the top wide receiver that you want the Jets to target? I think it'll probably be a Calvin Ridley. Whether Mike Evans hit the open market or not, I feel I really just have a feeling that the Jets are going to be offering like a three, four-year deal to uh, to Calvin here. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, go Jets.